hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video we will study about how to read from a text file so there are different methods to do uh, this operation of reading from a text file and we'll see all the three methods that are available in python one by one so as we have studied in the previous videos that to read a text file you need to specify one of these access modes and these can be simply the read r then it can be read as well as write again w plus means read as well as write and a plus means read as well as append so if any of these four access modes have been specified you are allowed to read from a text file okay now the first function or the first method to do so is the read method itself so the read method it uh, allows you to tell the python interpreter how many bytes you need to read from the file so this method will take as its argument the number of characters that you want to read from the file and then it will return those many characters so for example you have a file which has these contents as we discussed in the previous video it has two lines the first line says mind your exam and second line says youtube channel so if i use the read function on a file named myfile.txt which I have uh, opened in the read mode and the file object associated with it is my file. So when I do myfile.read4 it will return 4 characters from the existing file which is myfile.txt and the 4 characters would be the first 4 characters which is m, i, n and d. Okay and then when you, you have to close the file which is again as we saw is a good practice to do so uh, keep in mind whenever you are reading and you want to read specific number of characters the read function is a handy function that you can use now what if you do not specify any argument in this particular read function or you specify a negative argument then in that case uh, the entire contents of the file will be read and returned to you okay so if no argument or a negative argument is passed to the read function the entire contents of the file will be read okay now the next type of function or the method provided by python is the read line function so as the name suggests read line will read one complete line from the file if there is no argument specified so again the uh, this particular argument is an optional argument it is not compulsory and if you do not pass any argument to the read line method the complete line will be read one complete line will be read from the file and one complete line means the line that terminates with a new line character or backslash n character okay so uh, the line uh, that is terminating that ends with a backslash character the content uh, from the beginning to the first backslash n character will be read and returned using the read line function when no argument is passed to it now if an argument is specified those many number of characters will be read from the file but there is a limit there is a maximum amount of characters that will be read and that limit is up to the first new line character so for example uh, in the file <clears throat> sorry in the file you have two lines and the first line terminates with a new line character and the length of that line is say 10 characters now if you try to read uh, say 20 characters using the read line function and you pass the argument as 20 the return value of this function would be only 10 characters because you can read maximum up to a line that ends with a new line character so uh, although you can specify some number of bytes you want to read from the file but maximum number of bytes that you will be read or you will be returned will be the number of bytes that are present up to the slash n character so let's give uh, uh, let me give you an example say uh, this is the file that contains two lines now uh, the first line ends with a slash n character and the second line also ends with a slash n character so this is one line and this is the second line 
Now, suppose the first line contains 25 characters, but you try to read 30 characters. The return value of the read line function would be this single line only. Only the number of characters that are present in the single line terminating with slash n. No more characters will be read. So, the upper limit is the uh, number of characters present till the first slash n character. Okay. So, now the return value will be the string that has been read from the file. So, taking the same example, if we open the file myfile.txt and we read a line and we do not pass any argument, then the complete line terminating till the slash n character will be read. But if you pass an argument and the number of characters are less than the number of characters present in the line, uh, then those many characters will be returned. So in this case, this read line function will work exactly like the read function. But uh, you must remember that the upper limit of any argument that you specified is the number of characters present in the line terminating with a slash and character. So I hope that is clear. So uh, uh, one thing that you uh, must remember or you can use that can become handy while coding is that you can use loops like for loop and while loop to iterate over the contents of the file line by line till the EOF is reached. So the EOF means the end of file character is reached. So every file has end of file character at its very end and that marks the end of all the contents that are written to the file. So you can use a loop to check whether the end of file character has been reached or not and if it has not been reached you can uh, iterate over each line one by one by using the read line method. Okay? The next is the read lines method. So the difference is in the last s that is present. So be very careful. Now this method reads all the lines that are present in the file and the return value is a list. Now this returned list will contain every line as one element. So every line that terminates with a new line character or the slash and character will become one element of this list that is returned by the read lines function. Okay. So let's take an example again. Again, we are trying to read from the file myfile.txt which consists of two lines, uh, mind your exam, and second line is YouTube channel. So, when you apply the read lines function, uh, you get a list. The list contains two elements. The first element is mind your exam with the slash and character because the slash and character was input while writing to the file. And the second is the YouTube channel. The, if this is slash and character was not input uh, with the last line, it will not be returned. Okay. So this is all for today. I hope you have understood all the three methods for reading from a text file. In case you have any doubts, you can mention to us in the comment section below. Also, let us know which other types of videos from computer science topics you would like to study from our channel. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video. Mind your exam.